Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh The hadith says In Sahih Bukhari He said that the river Euphrates Which is in Iraq Will uncover a mountain of gold And people will fight for that gold And 99 out of every 100 who fight for that goal will be killed. And each one will say, I am the one who will survive. So this will be an uncertain war. No one will be able to enter that war with certainty that they will be victorious. What a war. It will be a unique war in history like no other war ever before in history which kills 99% of all combatants. But he said that the Muslims, the believers, must not touch that goal. A war which kills 99% of all combatants has to qualify as the Great War. The Christian eschatology refers to it as Armageddon. In Islam, we know of it as the Malhama. And in order for us to be firmly grounded in this war, we go first to the Quran and then to the Hadith. Is there any reference to this war in the Quran? Yes, there are. We want to turn to only one verse of the Quran, only one at this time. There are others. But this verse is in Surah Al-Isra, of the Quran, Surah number 17. And Allah says, Ba'adawuzi billahi min ash-shaytani rajim. He says, Wa im min qariyatin illa nahnu muhlikuha qabla yawm al-qiyamah aw mu'azzibuha azaban shadeera kana thalika fi al-kitab mastura None will escape. Every town and every city will be destroyed before the last day, before the end of the world. This event will take place before the end of the world. Kabla yaw And those which, with those towns and cities which escape destruction will be punished with great, great, great punishment. And this is something inscribed in the book. This, is, this will come to pass. That has to be the great war. Oh, yes. Where every town and every city is destroyed, and those which do not face destruction will, be punished, will face terrible punishment. That has to be the great war. So there is a reference in the Quran to the great war. And the great war can only have this kind of destruction if there are weapons of mass destruction used in that war because conventional weapons will not kill 99% of all combatants. It has to be nuclear weapons. There are those who have been trying far more vigorously than is comfortable for me to persuade me that there are no nuclear weapons. <laughs> Well, what happened in Hiroshima and Nagasaki was a dream? Hmm? Of course there are nuclear weapons and there are thermonuclear weapons and there are other weapons of mass destruction we probably don't know about. And we are now on the verge of that nuclear war in which 99% of all combatants will be killed. Why? because they're fighting for the mountain of gold. 